So I was talking to somebody that had seen this Solar Trailer 2.0 video, and he had commented on how inexpensive the build turned out to be, which got me thinking, did I miss something? Well, this video is a clue on what I forgot to include. Well, at least the major item. I forgot the solar panels from Signature Solar. So thanks, Josh from Tusca Outdoors for pointing that out. So here's an updated list. The trailer was $31.95, but I bought a 5x10. You could have gotten away with a 5x8. I bought the Hitchhiker Camper itself. It was on special $22.95 or right around that cost. The inverter, $13.99. It's an all-in-one inverter, charge controller, everything you need. I think they're $14.99 now. The outdoor enclosure for the EG4 inverter, $285. The Pelican case for the recycled batteries, $336. So you'd have to actually add the cost of batteries if you wanted to build your own. The aluminum for my Weldon guy, $2,215. I'm not including the cost of welding because that would vary depending on who does the work for you. Maybe you can do it yourself. Outlets, uh, $84. It's sort of a campground type outlet enclosure. So it's meant to be outdoors and it has all the outlets you'd need. Overkill Solar BMS, which I rehabbed the blown up batteries with, $175. Six packs to each of the rubber hood catches, $84. Two rubber cable glands to basically make the interior of the Pelican case waterproof. That's how I ran my DC cables in. They're a buck a piece. Three pair of tarp poles because I prop up the solar panels that hang down at the side, except for the back one that is on um, gas struts. And then nine of the 330 watt solar panels for $945. And it was a pallet of 36. So if anyone wants to build a trailer, I have 27 extra panels. So hopefully this helps. I'm sorry I missed these items. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.